Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This session is for work and energy theory. In work energy theory, the formula is W net equals delta Ke. The W net represents all the forces, the net force, the work done by a net force. As they show, the net work done on a body by all the forces. The all the forces mean the net force on it, on the a body, equal to the changes in kinetic energy of the body. So means if network is doing positive work, the kinetic energy will increase. On the other hand, if the network doing negative work, the kinetic energy will decrease. So both work and the kinetic energy are scalar quantity. They both have unit of joules. The formula looks like a really simple, but when you solve it, you need to write detail. You need to very be careful with net force. So all the forces, you need to consider all the forces acting on the body. All the work done, yeah, they do all the work. And that the connect, change at kinetic energy, only final subtract initial, right? Because delta represents the changes. So always write the final subtract initial. So when you solve this kind of question, it's better to have free body diagram and uh, label all the forces. Let's see one example. A 2.5 gram bullet traveling at the 300 meter per second and it hits a tree and it penetrates a distance of 12 centimeter into the tree's trunk. What was the average force exerted on the bullet in bringing it to rest. So let's draw a free body diagram. Okay, maybe, okay, we first need to uh, find the, uh, before f we draw a free body diagram, we need to make sure each unit, okay, 2.5 gram bullet, this is the mass. The 300 meter per second is velocity, uh, speed, and the hits a tree. So I mean this is a before hit the tree or at the moment hit the tree is 300 meter per second which is the initial and the penetrate a distance of 12 centimeter. This is distance into the tree trunk. What was the average force exerted on the bullet? We're looking for the force, but they say is average force on the bullet in bringing it to rest. So to rest means the final velocity equal zero, right? During the 12 centimeter, the bullet travel slowing down. So in this situation, the force is not constant because as we know, faster, when the bullet travel faster at the beginning, it has bigger friction force. It gets slowed down, the friction force will get smaller. So that's why we're looking for the average force during the 12 centimeter. So given information is mass equals 2.5 gram. Remember we need to change the mass into kilogram. That's why we have 2.5 times 10 to the negative 3 kilogram. 
the initial velocity equal 300 meter per second. This is already standard units. And the distance equal 12 centimeter. We need to change it to meter, which is we can write 0 0.12 meter because 1 meter equal 100 centimeter. So move two decimal to the left. And the final velocity equals 0. We're looking for average force because the average force actually is a friction. We write average force, which is friction. Looking for this, OK? So on the other page, we write, we draw a free body diagram. The free body diagram, we can, there's a small bullet, the travel, and the V initial equals 300 meter per second. And the final, I say, a stop. So final velocity equals zero. The distance from this point to this point, because actually we don't consider the length of bullet because it's really small, right? We can say all this distance equals to 12 centimeters, which is 0 0.12 meter. And the force acting on the bullet is, we can see the gravity, mg, normal force f inside from the tree trunk, trunk. This is the F, normal force. And also, most important is the friction force, we consider as average. So we have three forces. We need to consider the network done by these three forces. So follow the formula we have W net equals delta Ke. We write W by mg plus the work done by the normal force plus the work done by the friction force and equals to the delta Ke is final, Ke final minus Ke inertia. For work done by the gravity, we can write mg, follow the definition of work, mg is force times cosine theta and the time the distance d before we write that we need to think about the distance moving the bullet is moving horizontally right along the tree trunk move this way but the gravity is that way so the theta is the angle between mg and the third displacement so that's why I see this is 90 degree. Then you multiply D plus same thing for the normal force. Go up and the perpendicular to the displacement. So also cosine 90 degree times D plus the friction force go this way which is exactly opposite with the displacement, which is 180 degree, right? So we have friction force multiplied cosine 180 
multiply d equals to the change kinetic energy. The kinetic energy at the final, because velocity equals zero, that's why final equals zero. So we have negative Ke inertia. And think about cosine 90 equals zero, because cosine 90 equals zero, that's why in this situation, the gravity doing zero work. This is zero, as well as the normal force doing zero work. So we can write, and also cosine 180 equals negative one. This one equals negative one, cosine 180 equals negative one. That's why we can write negative average friction force times distance equals negative initial kinetic energy, which is 1 over 2 mv initial square. And we're looking for this one. So we already have d, which is equals 0 0.12 meter. The m equal 2.5 gram. We already changed it to 2.5 times 10 to the negative 3 kilogram. The v initial is 300 meter per second, right? So look back here. Initial 300 meter per second. M equal 2.5 times 10 to the negative 3 kilogram. The distance, which is the bullet penetrate into the tree trunk is 0 0.12 meter. So you can manipulate the formula to find the average force. For this one, we just, uh, both sides have negative, negative, cancel out, become positive. And the D divided for both sides. So we got The friction average equals 2d, 2d mv initial square. So that's why we can plug all the number into this expression. We have 2 times 0 0.12 meter. The top is 2.5 times 10 to the negative 3 kilogram. What have V square? 300 square, which is, this is we write meter per second square, right? Then the bottom we have 2 multiplied 0 0.12 equals 0 0.24 meter. The top is 2.5. We can use calculate to do this work. Top is 2.5 times 10 to the negative 3 exponent times 300 square. 2.5 exponent negative 3 times 300 square. Get the answer and divide it by 0.24. We got 900 37.5. So the force equals 937.5 Newton. Or you can write approximately equals 
38 newton. Okay. This is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you.